assalamu alaikum uh, in this lecture we are going to talk about the short transmission line its modeling and uh, at the end of the lecture we are going to solve a question related to the same topic so short transmission line as we discussed in the last lecture is modeled using only a resistance and inductance and the capacitance is neglected in the modeling of the short transmission line but it is used in medium and long transmission line modeling so starting uh, from a single phase short transmission line we have a single phase so this uh, vs and vr both are line to neutral and the line is being represented by a resistance and inductive reactance value and the current i is flowing from the sending end to the receiving end if we have to represent this diagram in term of phases we can have a reference value which is in this case is vr and it will be at 0 degree angle and then there will be the voltages across the resistance that is ir and the reactance the inductive reactance and the summation of these two phases will give you the voltage across the impedance value which is the summation of r plus jxl and in order to calculate the sending and voltage we will add vr and the voltage drop across the impedance so this will be your sending and voltage the angle phi r is the angle between the receiving end voltage and the load current which is actually the same current that is coming from the sending end and the angle alpha is the angle between the sending end voltage and the receiving end voltage now there is one thing to remember if you have to find the sending end power factor you need cos theta s and this theta s is actually the angle between the sending end voltage and sending end current but in this diagram we know that the sending end current and the receiving end current both are equal so both are equal to current capital i so in order to calculate th theta vs you will add alpha and phi r so this is the sending end voltage this is the sending end current so to calculate theta s you have to add phi r and alpha and when you will take the cosine of theta s which is the summation of phi r which is angle between the receiving end current and receiving end voltage and alpha is the angle between the sending end voltage and receiving end voltage you will get the power factor of the sending end so we are going to solve an example that is related to single phase short transmission line in the question it is mentioned that a single phase overhead transmission line delivers 1100 kw so this is the your receiving end power at at voltage 33 kw so this is your receiving end voltage and as it is the single phase line so this is your line to neutral voltage and at power factor 0.8 power factor lagging so the current will be at some angle from vr but in clockwise direction so this is your lagging power factor current the total resistance and inductive reactance of the line is given as 10 ohms and 15 ohm respectively you have to calculate the sending end voltage sending end power factor and transmission efficiency so we will solve them one by one starting from sending end voltage which is actually vs so we have to write the formula which include vs and some other terms that we have to calculate so from this circuit we know that vs is actually equal to vr plus i z and z is equal to r plus j x l x l value is given which is 15 ohms this is 15 ohms r value is given which is 10 ohm current value we don't know about that and vr value is 33 kilo volt so in order to calculate the sending and voltage we have to calculate the current value we are given the receiving end power which is pr is equal to vi cos theta cos theta value is given which is 0.8 v value is given which is 33 kilo volt pr is 1100 kilo volt so i value will be 
पी आर ओवर वी आर कॉस फाइव आर सो वी नो ऑल दीज वैल्यूज यू विल कैलकुलेट द करंट एंड द फाइनल वैल्यू ऑफ द करंट विल बी इक्वल टू फोर वन पॉइंट सिक्स सेवन एम पी एर मैग्नीट्यूड सो दिस इज द मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ द करंट एंड इफ यू हैव टू फाइंड द इमेजनरी पार्ट एज वेल वी नो दैट आई इज इक्वल टू आई कॉस थीटा आर प्लस थीटा आर और फाई आर यू कैन यूज एनी ऑफ दिस साइन फाइ नॉट थीटा आर फाई आर सो आई विल बी यूजिंग फाई आर थ्रू आउट द नमेरिका सो दिस विल बी फोर्टी वन पॉइंट सिक्स सेवन एम पेयर इन टू पॉइंट एट दिस इज गिवन हेयर माइनस जे पॉइंट सिक्स सो दिस इज थर्टी थ्री पॉइंट थ्री थ्री माइनस ट्वेंटी फाइव जे करेंट so now you will put this current value here and you will have the value of vs that is equal to 33 708 plus 250 j and if you have to find it in magnitude and angle form that will be equal to 33709 angle 0.42 degree now this angle is actually with reference to vr so this angle is your alpha so alpha is equal to 0.42 so this angle is between vs and vr so this alpha is equal to 0.42 now in the second part you have to calculate the sending and power factor so for sending and power factor cos phi s you have to calculate first phi s so for from the phasor diagram we know that phi s is equal to phi r plus alpha and phi r is equal to you have to calculate phi r and for to calculate the phi r value you have to use this value 0.8 power factor that is equal to cos inverse 0.8 plus alpha we have already calculated alpha that is equal to 0.42 so this phi s will be 37.29 and you will put this value here and you will get the power factor value for the sending end this which will be equal to 0.7956 lagging the last part of the question ask us to find the transmission efficiency from the formula of transmission efficiency we know that it should be receiving end power over sending end power and another form will be pr over pr plus losses which is equal to i square r this i value is 41.67 so it will be square into resistance value is 10 receiving end power is 1100 k similarly in numerator we have 1100 k so by solving this equation you will get the efficiency in percentage that is 98.44% right so this was the last part of the question so this is how you will solve a question that is related to single phase short transmission line thank you